happy birthday. All right, Noah. Sorry. <laughs> happy birthday, America. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode eight. Uh, the Great Eight. There are now a Great Eight amount of episodes you can go um, onto YouTube and listen to. Type in the Paige Campbell Show. It'll pop pop right up. Um, today we have Noah Clark. What's up? And Nick Piginino. Hello. Yeah, as you can see, we're doing, trying something new here today. We're trying to do a video uh, form of the podcast, you know, so people can see our beautiful faces for yeah. a change. So uh, we'll see how that pans out. You know, if it doesn't work, we won't do it again. <laughs> if it does work, we'll probably do that from now on. Um, July 4th was yesterday. Um, we didn't get, you know, the regular, we didn't get the actual, we didn't get to record on July 4th, right? No. But busy. we're here today, July 5th. Um, Take one. Yeah, what do you guys yeah. think? What would you guys do for July 4th? I saw some fireworks. Did you? Yeah. I the Gypsy Hill Park Parade. Mm. Oh, wait. Seriously? Yeah. I was there. Not at night. Uh, no, no, in the morning. Yeah. And I went to Mary Baldwin. I was there in the morning, though. At Mary Baldwin College, and I saw some fireworks from up on the hill. Wait, were you really at the parade? Because I was there. I was there at around, uh, maybe it wasn't the parade. It was earlier in the day. Was yeah, there. like in the morning? or. And, then, like, and they had like... what? Oh, uh, I was gone by then. Yeah, I didn't go um out, but, you know, we stayed home. We made hamburgers, hot dogs. My mom made a cake that looked like the American flag. Nice. Um, And then we shot off, like, Target fireworks, you know, <coughs> your classic yeah. crappy fireworks. But, you know, they were fun. They it, they weren't bad. You know, they just didn't go off the ground, really. They just sh- shooting up out of a little thing. It's good stuff, though. Right. Love, oh, yeah. I love exploding things. Yeah. That's how we celebrate America's birthday. We blow up parts of it. It's classic, yes. <laughs> Well, so, stuff from China, technically. Yeah, that's true. Up stuff China, from China created fireworks. Take that. Obviously, they're made in China, but China created fireworks. Yeah. Um. So, what are your, some of your favorite uh, July 4th foods? A big part of July 4th is the food. What are some of your favorite July 4th foods? Well, definitely um, hamburgers, hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah, that's, you know, awesome. that's what we had. Oh, yeah. A little bit of fried chicken mm. on the side. I like a good amount of fried um, chicken. Shout Nick, out the American classics: hamburgers, hot dogs, right. fried chicken, cool sodas. Cool sodas, yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually yeah, drank a cool. soda the other day for, yeah, for the fourth. Nice. No, you, know, you gotta, you know, go big or go home. Now every now and then. Yeah. Um, one thing I love about like these American celebrations that we have: none of the foods that we eat are really ours, right? Yeah. Our, did, did we create hot dogs? We, hot dogs might be ours. I don't know. I would, hamburg- cons- I would consider the hamburger an American classic now i think originally it's from hamburg germany yeah even though it's sort of a that's why it's you know it's beef but it's called a hamburger because it's from hamburg but we perfected it here in america it's you know it's good i think i uh, chili dogs i like chili dogs yeah i had one of those today i guess hot dogs might be american i'm not positive about maybe dogs it might be german too oh yeah lemonade classic yeah, yeah you good go lemonade. You know, get on the grill. Lemon drop. You know, guys want a lemon oh, drop. Oh, definitely take it. Definitely if you would like one. Luden's lemon drops. Check them out. They're good. Good throat drops. It's good stuff. Um, so, obviously, 4th of July, Independence Day, you know, we celebrate beating the British, seceding, and becoming our own country. We're mm-hmm. free. We have freedom of speech. We have freedom of religion. We have freedom of press, right? Big deal, really. Um... Uh, what are your, some of your favorite moments in American history? Just, you know, in general, American history. Because we're celebrating our freedom, and we have a, you know, even though it's America's only like 200 years old, there's a lot of history there, really. Uh, well, a lot of our um, inventions, you know, all the a lot of necessities have been invented in America. You know, like the light bulb. Mm. And, uh, Telephone. The, um... Edison, wasn't it? Yeah. What's the, um... The thing, uh, Henry Ford, the, like the... The, the car? No, the, the <laughs> quick way to make them. Oh, yeah, that's the a assembly good, that's line. A, yeah, that's good. Classic. That's, that's important. It's not really my well, favorite, car, but yeah. The well, car, I guess, well, yeah. because the assembly line was because the car. Mm-hmm. He didn't invent the car. Both both things are he very important. He didn't invent the car, but it's, you know, Ford is big. Um, got any favorites, Nick? Uh, civil rights movement. Oh, yeah, yeah classic, that's dude. good stuff. It's a big deal. You know, obviously America had slavery, and that was wrong. That wasn't a good thing. But then they got rid of it, and that's a great thing. You yeah. Know? Started Abraham Lincoln, Emancipation Proclamation. One of my favorites um, from history is when we stole the land from the Indians. And oh, yeah. Killed them off and just kicked them out of our territory. Not our not our brightest moment, <laughs> but that is the thing. Classic America. Mm. 
You got some next? Uh, I was just gonna say that. that's not a good. Uh, it's really not. Well, how else are we gonna get a new country? That's what uh, the same thing with South America. You know, we came in and took over pretty much. Conquistadors. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, obviously, the two world wars aren't good things, but we won both. We of kicked them. butt in those wars. We kicked. We're America, two-time world champion. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Hopefully, never three though. Well, we'll see. You never know. Um. Yeah. I hope. I hope there's not. Uh, sorry, I was a little preoccupied. Sorry. I uh, hope there is not a World War Three. That would be terrible. Yeah, yeah, I wonder be, if there's a World War III, do you think Germany would start it? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. They started two of kind them. of mad. <laughs> or it's, it's either they're going to start it or they're just going to stay out of it completely. They're just like, I don't want no part of that, you know? That's true. It's not a world war, though, is it, if Germany's not involved? Maybe. Maybe not. A world war entails all the world, that's all, a, all the <clears throat> nations of the world, right? That is it's true. <laughs> it's that's only true. happened twice <laughs> that yeah, I yeah. know of. Um, but yeah. There's some good American history for sure. Um, Pilgrims, the Pilgrims. Obviously, they came in. Indians taught them stuff. Then Squanto. Squanto. He mm-hmm. was the one of the few that knew English. I think, the, the, like before the. How do you know English? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> like, where did it come from? Before Eng- I don't know where English came. Was from. Was it like? I wonder what kind of English too. I wonder if it was it was like broken English. Was it good English? Yeah. Slang. Didn't you know any slang words? You know. He might know some slang. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, they called him Squanto. <laughs> Squanto. Why'd they call him? Is, is there a story behind that? I don't know. I think it was a nickname. <laughs> All right. Um, Noah, do you, that, I think that's we've covered it pretty well. What do you, you think? I, yeah. Obviously, uh, Nick, uh, or Noah. Sorry. Um, Noah, you got a topic for us? Um, yes. All right. Let's hear it. Um, back onto the topic of food. All right. Eating. Uh, I love this topic. Candy bars. Okay. Any, anybody have a favorite? I'm a big. Uh, what's the name of that? Um, I, it's one of my favorites. And I don't. Uh, crunch bar. The crunch bar. I like the crunch bar. Yeah, that's a good one. I like the crunch bar, Nick. You Crispy like rice. The crunch bar is okay, but the thing about uh-huh. it is, the question should be which candy bar do, do we not like? Okay. Yeah, we can talk about the goods and bads of the candy bar world if you want. Um. What do you mean the goods and the bad? Like the bad ones? I don't like any. I don't like mounds or like coconut. Really? Things. No. See, the thing is, I don't mind the coconut flavor. I think coconut has a good flavor, but um, I don't like the the like shredded like coconut. Right. Like, ugh, I've I've come to kind gross. of like it. I used to be the same way. Oh, but it's the worst. I don't um, mind it too you like bad. Coconut. I like coconut. I I think that um, are they payday bars? So the peanuts. Oh, those oh, are yeah, good. Dude, those good, are good. Uh, quick, quick energy. Are yeah. And they're as far as candy bars go, they're good for you. Yeah, I have yet to really. Um, maybe I've had it once, but I can't really speak about that one. Oh what man, <clears throat> those are good. Um, I like obviously the classic Hershey's. I yeah, like just Hershey's. like a chocolate bar. Yeah, just, just straight chocolate, chocolate. is amazing. Yeah. But then I like Love it. Hershey's makes cookies and cream. Yeah, have you had that? I've had that. I as far as cookies and cream, that you know, that's um, that's a world in itself, and uh, they did they did a decent job with it. I w- I'm not. It's kind of chocolate. Overly is it, impressed. Is it actual chocolate? I guess so. I mean, I mean it's like you know, chocolate, like not a big fan. it's like a, it's kind of like Oreos. I would consider Oreos yeah. and cookies and cream to be in the same. Boat. That's kind of true. Well, I mean, Oreos are pretty much cookies and cream. Like when you get cookies yeah. and cream ice cream, it's yeah. just Oreos it's mashed yeah. up in ice cream. Have, You're not a fan, Nick. They even have Hershey's cookies and cream cereal. Oh, do they? Ooh, I've I had don't that. Know. I've had like know. Cookie Crisp, yeah. which is pretty much you know that's pretty good stuff. Cookie Crisp. A candy bar, I really like. Um, the Take Five. Uh, which one's that? It's, it's got like a, I think it's got pretzels in it or something. Pretzels oh yeah, I have had that. All yeah. the yeah, like a watch him call it. Yeah, those it's are good. I, it's been a while. Yeah, those They're are good. They're not that common, I guess. Like, at least here in good old Virginia. In the Commonwealth, but. I'm I'm trying to think of um. Man, I there I know there's some that I'm not naming. You know, I know there's Snicker bars. Oh, Snickers are classic. Snickers are good. I like mean, uh, Milky, Twix. Milky Ways. Twix are great. They've no, got like cookie. Fo- in let me ask you fellas. All right. Left Twix or right Twix? <sighs> is there really a difference? I mean, I've seen the commercials. I don't know the difference. Um, I think the difference is like... Cloaked in chocolate. 
or it's like caramel then cookie and then like right is like cookie then caramel you know what i mean like just the order is different i like cookie caramel chocolate in that order i think <laughs> in that order, that's I my mean, preference i don't know that i've really tasted the difference i know there is kind of a difference but yeah that's a good good point nick um i don't know um chocolate bars i mean there's just candy in general like do you like skittles I do like Skittles. Skittles, Skittles are M&Ms. M&Ms are good. I like there's something about M&Ms that just makes them hard to stop eating, I think. Yeah, that's true, especially for me peanut M&Ms. Yeah. I like regular M&Ms, they're fine, but peanut M&Ms they're I really just, good. you know, polish a big mm-hmm. bag of those off. I love them. What about uh pretzel M&Ms? Have you guys I've had those. I've I had, had like the snack type the um there's this really cool if you take like a pretzel and then put a Rollo on it. And then put an M M&M and M on top of that, and then like bake them or something. That's a, that's a good treat for mm. you. I like go home and try that. Um, I like pretzel M and M's. I didn't love them. I thought uh, they weren't as good as those. Not as good as peanut M and M's. Those no, are. I love. You're on the ball with those. Have you had peanut butter M and M's? Not yeah, overly there's... impressed with those, but mm. they're pretty good. I, yeah, that's you know I kind of had the same feeling as pretzel M and M's. There, but some people I've heard like, oh, pretzel M and M's are so good. It's like, mm, I mean, they're good, but. Yeah. Have you ever had a Mars bar? These yes. are kind of hard to come across in America, but you can. I think I've had one. Oh, they're good. I like them. I'll tell you what. I like um, Milky Ways. Just straight up chocolate and caramel. Mm-hmm. Those are good. That's good stuff. Yeah. I like I like some Milky Ways. Um, Three Musketeers? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty Isn't good. Isn't that the one with like the light stuff? In the yeah. Like the fluffy. Um, yeah, those are good. While we're on the topic of chocolates, what do you guys think of the... Uh, heart-shaped boxes with the variety mm. what do you think i love those i wish um mm-hmm. wish they came with more here's the thing I inside with the maps they yeah the maps right because if they don't have the maps you, you could be in for a world of disappointment that's true yeah like when you don't have the map exactly it's like you're playing russian roulette with it's with true candy because it's like i'll just eat it and it's like oh that's delicious that's caramel it's chocolate then i'll eat another one and it's like oh, i got the chocolate covered packing peanut yeah i mean i got the toothpaste filled one dang it cherry toothpaste. yeah i yeah. mean sometimes you're in the mood for for one thing and you get something completely different you know it's you're always you you always go in the mood for a certain uh chocolate right. and then there's always a coconut in there <laughs> I always try not to, I try, I always try to avoid that one. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Then sometimes you just down the whole box, just one by one. It happens. Mm. Um, you guys like nerds? Yeah. Nerds. Now, what it's do you think candy. of the nerds rope? I love the nerds rope. The you nerds like the nerds rope? rope? I, I, thanks for reminding me, I forgot about the nerds rope. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had one in a while. What was the name of, this is like such a 90s, early thousands thing, but I remember having like, great childhood memories it was a ball uh, of chocolate. i think it's the wonder ball the wonder the ball i love the those it. it's a ball of chocolate and it'll have like a tattoo and like yeah a, sticker a little prize inside like, oh man i loved those oh, those were brilliant they always i think they had they a bunch that were like cartoon themed or, or something yeah oh, yeah they had those like you good. get a spongebob wonder ball or like yeah. a you know, whatever. Speaking of the nerd's rope, the, the gooey gummy on the inside, you mm-hmm. know, gummies are good. Gummies are great. Um, gushers? You guys like Gushers? I like Gushers. You like I gushers? remember liking Gushers, and then I had Gushers for the first time in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty recently, not that long ago, was did not like it. Very more, more, often, more often than not, I get a Gusher that does not gush, and I think yeah. that's a serious does that issue. Been, you know what I hate about Gushers? I like them in general, <laughs> but when you open the bag and they're oh, all yeah. stuck together... I, and then you try to break them apart, and they start gushing on your fingers. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm it's a about? sticky mess. It's a um, sticky mess. It's I don't hard like to get, it hard much. to avoid that. Mm. But you know, I always get reds. It's hard to come Just across. You know, usually, we'll see. Whenever I aren't people remember eating to, like red dye? Some people not. Pro- probably, I feel like. But I, I feel it like sounds like a serious thing. For, uh, <laughs> of what I've heard, that's the only dye that people are really allergic to. You know, there's like blue dye, and I've never heard of someone being allergic to blue dye. Yeah. But then red dye. Possibly. People, people really die. Whatever for that they red put dye. in there. <laughs> a while ago, they outlawed red dye. Did they? they oh yeah. Commun- they thought it was like, I remember it was a communist color. So for a while. Oh wow. All, all red dye. Yeah. Red M and M's. American history. Since we were talking yeah. about American history. Red clothes. If you were caught wearing red, you were a commie. Yeah, they didn't like commies. It's pretty crazy. It's hysterical. Soviet Union. Yeah. You know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Wasn't that the uh, like '80s? Pretty much. That was recent, actually. 20, Maybe I don't 20, know. Thirty years ago. Well, um, like the Soviet Union that McCarthy I McCarthy era. Right. Yeah. Um speaking of gummies, 
obviously there's gummy bears, gummy worms, right? Whatever. I like gummy bears. Gummy bears, I like. I like gummy worms. But then they have the ones covered in sour powder. Uh huh. What do you guys think of those? I think I like those. I like Sour Patch Kids. Mm-hmm. You guys Ooh, a fan sour of Sour Patch, Patch Kids? Yeah. Sour Patch Kids. And yeah. and a little little prize at the end after you've eaten all of them. There's still some of that um, sour sugar left. Mm, right. You just that's just like that's my heroin. That's, my, your, that's my that's my cocaine right there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good stuff. Um, I like the um. What I like, you know, Warheads or like uh, Sour Patch Kids, like you said, what I like about them is, you know, you uh, suck on them mm-hmm. right? and it's really sour, but then after a while, it just turns sweet. Becomes sweet. And it's and just, just like all nice... the powder is gone and it's just a sweet little candy. Yeah. It's yeah. like an apology. Yeah. I guess. Well, have you seen the commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's like first they're sour, then they're sweet. It's great. It'll be like this like guy will be like driving his bike and then he'll just hit like a wall. <laughs> And it'll be like a backdrop of like a path. Yeah. And then it'll be like first they're sour, and then the little uh, sour patch kid will come out and put a bandaid on them, and it's like <laughs> then they're sweet. See, I think it's brilliant. Stuff. I think it would be funny if they had um, first it was sour, then it was sweet, and then it's like and then spicy, it was spicy, with, and like there's hot sauce on the inside. And yeah. Like thumbtack. <laughs> and then a the thumbtack, <laughs> thumbtack. That's good. or broken glass <laughs> Just or something. Broken glass. That's a good and, idea. Like instead you of instead of powdered sugar, sugar, it's broken glass. So like first they're sour, then they're sweet, and then they're. Um, Vicious. Yeah. <laughs> then they're then, then they're, they're not sweet. Sociopathic. <laughs> First they're sour, then the they're sweetness sweet. Then was they're a cover up. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, any other candies that you want to note? Yes, but uh, nothing comes to mind right now. Well, Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Oh man, I like Tic Tacs. Yeah. Tic Tacs. You know, people say people say like, oh, it's a breath mint. It's not really candy, but I would eat I would eat breath mints. Oh yeah, like. Non stop. Tic Tacs, yeah. you know, well, there's yeah. a lot of Tic Tac. Yeah, I eat these <laughs> during the podcasts a yeah. lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, like Tic Tacs, you know, they're, they're mints, they're candy too. So, you know, it's good. See, it depends on like the white Tic Tacs are just straight up mints. But they taste great. Yeah, they taste good. Very good. But then you get like the orange Tic Tacs. Yeah. And the orange Tic Tacs have some flavor too. Tropical them. twist. Tropical Tic Tacs. I haven't had Tic Tacs in a while. I li- good. One thing when I was a kid, um, and even to this day, sometimes I'd get a box of Tic Tacs. I haven't had Tic Tacs in a while, but I'd get a box of Tic Tacs, and afterwards you keep the box. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The box is fun to it's play. Practical. It. Yeah, it's you practical. Yeah, it's practical. Carry stuff in it. Carry small little, things, but you know, small things. Yeah. yeah. But you know, you're a kid. That's that's fun thing. A little little fun knickknacks. So two more candies that just came to mind. Okay. I'll start with um, go in order of. How, how much I like them, I guess. All right. Pop Rocks. Oh, Pop Rocks. You guys good. like Pop Rocks? Yeah, man. It's good stuff. I forgot about Pop Rocks. What? <laughs> he, he, glad, he, he's glad you made it. You're that. welcome. Um, and Twizzlers. Mm, really like Twizzlers. Twizzlers. See, the thing is, Twizzlers, like red vines and Twizzlers and pretty much red licorice. Licorice, yeah. Um, I like that. Strawberry, but cherry. But actual licorice, get out of my house. Yeah. I hate licorice. It depends. You know, sometimes... Um. Like if if you're eating like sometimes there uh, I can't think of what situation I guess like taffy or something there's like a combination of sweet flavors and then you get like the licorice one and then it's just like unnecessary but I don't hate like black licorice oh, I hate it but if with among sweet things it's not I love black licorice I don't really care for red licorice really like, oh really that's you, yeah okay. come on Nick you guys ever had rainbow twizzlers. Oh yeah, see, I, yeah, I, I like all, like all the colored flavors, yeah, like the, the orange, but yeah, lemon. black licorice is definitely a niche taste, yeah. you know, yeah, a niche taste for Nick, you know, <laughs> it's a Nick yeah. taste. But I, it surprises me. So that's fine, you know. My brother likes black licorice, right. but it does surprise me that you don't like red licorice. Yeah, it just seems a little bland. Well, yeah, that's just me. No, Maybe you haven't had the good you know? stuff. I, I need some we want, We're gonna have to treat you to some opinion. legit I don't want you to red agree. licorice. I don't want. I don't want any yes men on the Paige Campbell <laughs> show. Um, but yeah. Uh, red licorice is good. Not Nick doesn't like it, but uh, no, it's all right. Um, but yeah, like all the rainbow ones, like in Halloween, you'll get the orange, um, sp- orange Twix. You know, yeah, you those know, are Twix. pretty good. Those are pretty good. Twix, yeah, but Twix yeah, they good. make orange ones. It's and Kit Kats, like, twist. Oh, that's Kit-Kats. what I meant. Yeah, 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 Kit Kats. Yeah, yeah. Dang it, I talked about Kit Kats on the last episode. I think. Did we? I think so. Kit Kats are good. I like Kit Kats. They're not my favorite. But you know, you get the wafer. Yeah. Um. You, have you I ever like had wafers. those wafer cookies? Yeah, with the it's cream. Like, yeah. <laughs> Love with those. The cream and like, oh man. Okay. Yeah. Reminds me of Peeps for some reason. Peeps are okay. Peeps are good. I like Peeps. Not bad. They're different flavored types. Different types of flavor. Yeah. Peeps. 
you know? Peeps seem to stick around forever. See, my thing is like... Just hanging with my peeps. That's I've, a funny <laughs> funny shirt. It is a good shirt. I've seen it at Hot Topic many a time. <laughs> no. The shirt's especially funny around Easter when it's a little more... Yeah. Well, see, that's my thing about peeps. Like, I really like peeps, um, but it was kind of a thing. I associate them with Easter, and now we've kind of gotten peeps overload. You know what I'm saying? You know, Christmas comes around, and they got peeps snowing. Yeah. You know, Halloween comes around, they got peeps ghosts. Yeah. You know, uh, Valentine's Day comes around, they got peeps hearts. It's really now, a seasonal thing. I want, I want you know. just the peeps. I yeah. Just want, I just want the little chickies, the little chicks. Yeah. You'd think Activision was making peeps now. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> just beating a dead horse, man. Um, I don't know about the peeps. I like the peep. I like. I liked peeps. Yeah. It's become over sensory overload. Yeah. I don't know about the peeps anymore. What do you got? You got a thought on the peeps, I, Nick? I think they stick around forever because I don't eat them very much. And I get them like yeah. one or two, and then right, and then, for, and then I'm like, forget about them. I forget about them. And then I'm, where are the peeps? You know, they're they're still there, but they're hard, and you can't eat them anymore. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, they've gotten a little much. Like, I definitely liked them a lot more when I was a kid. You know, and like now I'll get them and I'll eat one or two, and then. And then I'll come back to them in a while. And like you said, they're kind of stale. Um, but I like the peeps, you know. Um, have you ever had those shockers? It's like these little around. Um, they almost look like, what are those things? Uh, not Pez's, but the, um, they almost look like Smarties. But they're shockers. Yeah, I think and I know what you're talking about. Good. Like little sour things. Little sour things. I like fizzy candy. Have you had that stuff? Well, or like the, in the wax. Those, yeah. The wax cigarettes with the... Or the wax bottles or The or wax whatever, bottles the, with the... I think they yeah. make people, too, probably. Those are good. Or I guess Pez's. But no, there's, like, fizzy candy that's, like, um... It's, like, I don't know, candy, and it's it has, like, fizz somehow. Well, like Pop Rocks? No, it's it's not, like, it's... it's Is it, like it's, like, it's, like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, like, it fizzes in your mouth. It's weird. All right. Kind of like soda. You guys ever had a... I think it's like an imported candy, but they're like little Coca-Cola bottles that taste like Coke. Like bottle, bottle caps. Is that bottle caps are good? Uh, but are you talking caps. about like the they're wax? Like, no, they're like gummies. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, those, those are good. Yeah. Haribo. Yeah. Haribo yeah. makes those. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. had those. I had those uh, two or three weeks. ago. They make fizzy ones too, I think. Yeah, Actually, like fizzy, fizzy Coke too. bottles. Yeah. Oh, fizzy. That's I have good had the stuff. Fizzy. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Love um, that. If you had those like box stuff. sticks or whatever, they're, I think they're Korean or like Japanese. Oh, those, yeah. I don't, what Pocky. A, Pocky or yeah. what, something like that. Like those are good. With yeah, yeah. Those Sounds cool. Those are, yeah, uh, but you said bottle caps. Yeah, I like bottle caps. Bottle caps um, nice. I can get into that. I, I like, like the root beer ones the best. Root beer, yeah. <clears throat> um, runts. Runts. Gobstoppers. Whoops, runts. Sorry. Everlasting gobstoppers. They're they're everlasting. Yeah, I do like gobstoppers. Uh, but, I used but to not. You know runts? I think I do. I think I know. It's like little pieces of candy fruit. You get the banana. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are just like solid sugar, though. Yeah. Like I don't know. They don't have like. (laughs) Yeah, no, I'm saying, but it's just like you bite one into one and just kind of sugar melts in your mouth. It's It's a sugary rush. Sugar rush. Candy sugar. Big time rush. Big big time rush. It's a big time rush. Um, I don't know. Throw that away later. Is that, is that candies? Any more candies? I cannot think of it. Any more candies? All right. Um, we'll move on to Nick's topic. Nick, you got a topic for us? Yes, I do. All right. Let's hear it. I want to talk about World Cup reactions. Okay. okay. See, I don't really follow the World Cup very much. Right. People get way into it. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the, well, the hype? I think it's kind of funny that, like, you know, soccer... It's a it's a year round. It's it's not just every four years, but but most people only get into it when it's World Cup time. That's true. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because it's the same thing. It's just a soccer. Yeah. It's really just a soccer game, and That's if you're not gonna watch it the rest of the time, what it's why bother now? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big soccer soccer guy. My thing is I like to play soccer. It's mm-hmm. a lot of fun to play, but. I really don't like watching. I mean, I've watched a couple matches of the World Cup, but it's just it's the same thing. I, I've watched pieces. I haven't even watched the whole game. But people all automatically get like really into it. I know what Nick's talking about. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Well, I mean, stuff. just like reactions in general to like sports and movies and stuff are really funny. You know, there's always reactions on like two girls in one cup reactions on YouTube <laughs> and stuff. You know. The thing about it is, is um, like I understand how people can get into sports, but mm-hmm. like, it's 
seems sometimes it seems to be like an integral part into people uh, in their, uh, people's lives. Yeah, which is kind of strange because it's. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I I know what you mean because like I'll be talking to someone that I'm not really into really any sport, as far as watching goes. But yeah, I'll be talking to someone and they'll be like, "Yeah, we almost won last night." I'll tell you what, and I'm just being like, "We almost won." Like like I know you're talking about Team USA, but. Team oh, yeah. USA, you're not on Team <laughs> USA. <laughs> you can cheer for them, but they almost won. You did not win. Yeah. For me, it's like almost an empty feeling when you see your team win because you're like, well, they, good for, they did it. We did it. Or, but, but, you know, the next day. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like, like sports is a career, you know? Like, like, I like sports. I'll play, you know, I play high school stuff. But, like, after, as far as, like, playing for your whole life, like, mm -hmm. athletes, they, like, retire – kind of er pretty early mm -hmm. like more more early than most people that retire and it's just like what do you do with your life after that i mean you're rich but that was your whole life yeah. it was just a ga like a game yeah <laughs> that's true that's a good point yeah like i enjoy playing sports when i do when i whenever i do but you know like i mean watching watching and like enjoying watching other people play doesn't make do anything. it's one like, of these things like on tv I understand the reaction because, you know, my dad will be watching a game and he'll be like yelling at the TV and get so excited. And it's one of these things I understand the reaction because when I play like video games, you know, I see something cool and I get so excited and I yell at the TV. Um, so I understand like that reaction if that's what you like and that's what gets you excited. I understand that's that reaction, you know, but I just don't see how people can get that excited about sports. You know what I mean? I understand how you can get that um, invested in something, you know, because I play, like, games and stuff, and I really enjoy them. Um, you guys been playing any good games recently? Um, Pokemon. Pokemon? A, little, a little bit of Pokemon. Yeah. I've been playing uh, the Minish Cap. Oh, that's Zelda, a good one. And I just um, beat Shovel Knight. Yeah, um, I, oh my I want to ask you about that. What's the hype about that? It looks cool. <sighs> it's so good. I want to um, get it. I'm, doing, I'm reviewing it, so I'm going to po post okay. a review. I'm going to post a review to YouTube. But oh my gosh, it's incredible! It's um, Yacht Club Games. They're an indie company, um, and they just—it's an indie game they made, and it's incredible. It's it's it. It's one of these things. A NES game. It, it looks exactly like a NES oh, that's, game. Oh, I right? like that. Yeah. But it's a one bit. of these things. Indie games that look like NES games are a dime a dozen, mm -hmm. right? It's this game looks like a NES game, but it plays like a NES game. Oh, that's great. And that's there's great. Not, like, it has the exact same controls as, as a NES game. That's fantastic. And there aren't many indie games that look and all, look the part and play the part. You know what I mean? So it's really good. It's, it's, it, when I was playing it, I felt like I was playing a game that got lost in the NES library. Yeah. And just like they found it and released it. You know what I that's mean? That's sweet. And uh, it was it, it's so spot on that my brother <laughs> came into the room at one point and was like, what are you playing, Mega Man? <laughs> Well, it, like that's how spot on the bit music, music and everything. The music, uh, the chip tunes, everything. That's is, great. Is spot on. Yeah, uh, games you've been playing recently? I recently been. I picked up Mega Man Two again. Which I've oh yeah, I good stuff. I've, it's like one of my favorite games. It's a good game. Yeah. Do you have a copy I, of that? Yeah. Nice. But I haven't. Been, I have three. I don't have any of those. It's really fun, but yeah. I haven't been able to beat. Like I think it was Heat Man. Yeah. Oh, the Mega Man games are hard. Mega they're Man. they're really fun. Some but they're, of the bosses are really easy. Some of them are really hard. Yeah, the, those games are hard, and like the thing about it is, that's kind of a staple of the NES era. You know, you'll be playing, and like you'll get to the boss, and you'll have like one E pack left, and like one like little s shred of life left, and then you'll die, and you'll like start at the beginning. Yeah. It's such a load. Mega Man's pretty frustrating. You know what else oh, is yeah. frustrating? What? Mario Kart Eight. Oh, okay. Really get frustrated with Mario Kart Eight. I've been playing that a lot, but um, I love that game. But yeah, there's some frustrating parts yeah. in it. Specifically, my main complaint: coins and boxes. Yeah, Ugh, it's the worst. I don't, I don't understand how that game got off the cutting room floor with the coins and boxes. It doesn't I don't make know. any yeah. sense to me. It, it's ridiculous. Like, it's, it's, oh my gosh. I feel like they do that to add a little bit of frustration. Maybe, Maybe. <laughs> make it a little harder. Yeah, to make it like well, my other big complaint <laughs> is the battle mode. You know, battle yeah. mode is one of the most fun modes in Mario Kart, and it's just like, no. You know, yeah. like the battle mode in the new one's awful. I don't hate it. It kind of drags though, because it's just oh, too it's big. So bad. You know, I, I, but it, they should have kept the same battle mode from Mario Kart. 7. Well, see, that's the thing. When you compare it to like Block Fort on the N sixty four, it's just inc You know, that game, that battle mode is just incredible. Yeah. And then this is just no. It's just there. What are you gonna do? I mean, yeah, it, it's maybe funny. they'll patch it or something. On a 
on um, one of the podcasts I listened to, I think it was GameScoop, Brian Altano from IGN, he like compared it to like, it's like you met the perfect girl and you're like dating her, right? But then she has like one major flaw, you know what I mean? Like every time you go, you go out, she steals stuff, you know what I mean? And it's just like, gosh, she's perfect, but this, you know, yeah. she steals, she's a kleptomaniac. Yeah, like, I mean, it's a good game, but that's true. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I really think Nintendo dropped the ball. You know, other than that, it's the perfect Mario Kart. But I, 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 we can't really complain because everything they've been putting out lately has just been oh yeah they outstanding. So that's the thing; it takes them so long to put their games out, but it's so worth the wait. Right? You know, you got Mario Kart, you know Zelda, yeah, Mario, whatever. Mario Maker looks good. Yeah, it does look I'm good. Play some Mario Maker. Excited about that. Yeah. Express my creativity. Yeah. See, I'm I'm one of these people. I don't like making stuff. Like, I played Minecraft recently. And I liked it. It was actually a lot better than I expected it to be. But I just don't like making stuff. You yeah. Know? Like, I'm probably going to get Mario Maker. And Play then it a just, little bit. I'm probably going to get it, make, like, a, one or two levels, and then just, like, I'm sure they'll have a thing where you can download other people's levels, and so I'll just play other people's levels, you know? Yeah, um, Little Big Planet has that feature. You can make levels, and there's just, like, an endless amount of, like, things to make with. And I always find myself kind of, like, I'm like, all right, I'm going to make a level. And then I kind of get overwhelmed and a little bit stressed out. And then I just like, it. my mind doesn't work that way. I just mess around and like mm -hmm. build ramps and then you can like ride down them or whatever. I don't know. I like to, uh, you know, like, get to like, I like games where it's like sort of linear. Where yeah. Where you have to accomplish it. Yeah. My friend was showing me, or my cousin was showing me Minecraft. And uh, yeah. So what do I do? And he's like, well, you can just build, build, build a house right there. And I was like, oh, okay, now what? Yeah, you kind of make make your own um, storyline, I guess. Well, see, that's my thing. Like, I like in my I liked Minecraft. I didn't think I was gonna like it at all, and I liked how it played and it responded well, and I liked how challenging it was. But I just don't like making stuff. Yeah, I mean, I can know? see how people can can get into that, but like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not necessarily like. I, I like linear stuff with, like, a story, but I don't even necessarily need linear, but, like, I, I don't want to create my own world. Like, I like open worlds where I can run around and just sandbox and just do stuff and kill people or whatever, but I just, I don't like to make my own world, you know yeah. what I mean? I like to I, I have it there. It could be more fun, like, if you could, can you invite people to your world? Um... Minecraft? In Minecraft, I think like if is there like a multiplayer? I think if you're playing on like PlayStation, you can have your PlayStation Network friends in there, and then there are also just other people in that it. That would be kind of fun, I guess. Yeah, I could like, see that. But if it's just like, if you could just make stuff for yourself, that would be kind of boring. Well, I was yeah. playing it with my uncle, and um, there actually is local multiplayer in it. So oh, that's it was cool. Yeah, it was split screen, and so that was pretty cool. We were we were working together and building a house and stuff, but I don't know, I just yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like some Minecraft. Um, you play a game? Let's do it. Play a game. You got uh, any ideas for us? Yeah, give us uh, some intro music, right. and then I'll tell you my Let's ideas. Set this up. I've got uh, I've got two new ideas. Some random. Give us some music. <laughs> All right, we can play one of our classic games too, but I've got two games that I prepared. These are new games, new segments, if you if you will. I will. Um, all right, <laughs> I've got two new segments. Um, the first segment, um, I'm, we're gonna call this slogans. All right, no cheating. We're gonna call this slogans. Um, I got this idea from uh, <coughs> IGN's Game Scoop. It's a podcast, right? And they played it with games. Um, but basically, I'm going to read you a slogan, and you're going to have to tell me what company it is. These are old slogans, maybe newer slogans, but you're going to have to tell me what company it is. Oh, you need a stand? All right, you're usually... Wow. All right, you're usually... Just hold it, but I, I like this. For those like of you who have um, not seen the podcast before... You haven't. I because mean, you haven't. You haven't, if, if you've never... Fun fact, Nick never uses a stand. Traditionally, Nick likes to hold his mics. So basically, this is called Slogans. I'm going to call it Slogans. It doesn't really have a name. But I'm going to read an old slogan, maybe a newer slogan, and you're going to have to tell me what company it is. I got this idea. You know, I don't want people to blast me in the comments for being a thief. I got this idea from Damon Hatfield on his podcast, I, uh, IGN Game Scoop. They played it with old game slogans. I'm just doing slogans in general, but it's his idea. So here we go. You guys ready? 
You into this, Noah? Is it a versus game, like me versus him? Do we like the first person who touches the loot and gets together? We could do that. Um, I think these are hard enough that okay. you guys can just work together. Okay. But yeah, work together. <laughs> okay. Give me some. Uh, yeah, here we go. Is, this, is it picking up? A little bit. It's picking up enough that that that's able to hear. I'm gonna All right. Closer. When you care enough not. to send the very best. Either of you know what slogan that is? Know what company? When you care enough to send the, to send, to send the very best? To send the very best. Is it Hallmark? It is Hallmark. Nice um, job, It actually Nick. is, yes. I guess it's cards, one, yeah. It's, it's one of their that, slogans yeah. from the 80s, but cool. it's, yeah, that's, it is them. All right. When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. Can I go again? It's just, you know, chime uh, in if you, if you think you know. No. Uh. Hmm. It is FedEx. Gosh, Nick, Nick man, two on. for two. All right. This one's a little bit, a uh, little estranged. <clears throat> Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Oh, I've heard this one actually. Have you heard this one? Any guesses? Is it a food? It is a food. Candy. It is a candy. Oh, okay. Pop rocks. Not pop rocks. It's gotta be something with like, sort of like a outside type coating or I don't know I just I can't get it I can't it's close you're getting closer <clears throat> tell me when you guys give up uh, like, I give up um M&M's oh, oh that was M&M's right because they do melt in, in your uh if you hold them for too long they melt in your hands yeah in your mouth. that's a lie of a slogan yeah yeah that's true um something to smile about Guys, uh, I'll any questions? This, one, this, one, this question. one, this one's really tough. Hmm. Yeah. To smile is it a beverage? It's not. Is it a um, store? It's not a store. Oh. Restaurant chain? No. Is it food? It is food. Okay. Chili, something to smile about. No. Is it Applebee's? It's not Applebee's. Macaroni and cheese, something to smile about. No. Do you guys uh, want to hear? What is it? Uh, Quaker oatmeal. <laughs> I don't remember that slogan. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, some of these are pretty old. Um, Since, okay, well then. No, these are not necessarily the newest slogans. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to just trying to throw this out of here, make a game out of it. Um, you've got questions, we've got answers. Ah, oh, I know this one too. Do you know this one? Yeah. I think I remember hearing this one at some Ask. point. Ask.com? No. Radio Shack? Radio Shack. It really is. Not even close. Dude, Nick's incredible at this. That's I, honestly. He, he's gotten like a, three out of these, and I wouldn't be able to guess any of these. Blind guess on that one. Wow. Yeah, it really is Radio Shack. Nice. Um, obey your thirst, so you know it's a beverage. Mountain Dew. No. Coca Cola. No. No, that wouldn't be. It's a Coke product. No, not Pepsi. Sprite. Yeah, yeah. it is Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Nick, Nick's gotten four of these. Yes. So. Reach out and touch someone. Food? No. Is it a funeral home? It's not a funeral home. <laughs> That's a good um, guess, though. <laughs> it's pretty sardonic. Clowns International. Oh, oh. <clears throat> is it like a? The Red Cross. No. Is it some kind of like? Hospital. Card. No. No, it's not a card. Card service. No. Do you guys want to hear it? Yes. Yeah. It is AT and T. The phone. Oh, I, I I remember that one. Yeah. Um. America's most famous dessert. Apple pie. No. Uh, chocolate pie. No. Little Debbie. No. Hostess. No. It's not really, I guess. I mean, that's a company. Yeah, desserts. but it's not the most famous. I chocolate guess. cannolis. No. That's not American. Come on. <laughs> All right, uh, this one's tough. America's favorite dessert. Favorite or famous? Uh, most famous dessert. Krispy Kreme. No. Duncan. No. I don't really agree it's with breakfast. this slogan, but this is the right. slogan. Well, let's hear it. Jello. No. Jello, the co the company, uh -huh. you know, Jello. But that's that. That was their slogan at one point, um, and I don't agree with this. But they say it's America's favorite dessert or most famous dessert. Well. Wow. And finally, here's the last one. This is always a bridesmaid, but never a bride. The groom. No. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Is it, uh... Say yes to the dress. Slogan. 
Let's say yes to the address of Atlanta. No. Any guesses? Um, always the bridesmaid. Always a bridesmaid, never the bride. but never a bride. Oh. Is it bride, bridal, a bridal service? No. Um, this one's pretty tough, actually. You're a weird aunt? No. But never a bride. Throw in the towel here. I know. I give up. That is Listerine. What? Listic. Um, I watched it. It was like a '30s commercial, and it was like the woman that like drank Listerine. Like dudes liked her because her breath smelled good. And then the woman that didn't drink Listerine was like, you know, just always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. That doesn't even really work. <laughs> Funny, actually. There's a very interesting tidbit, his- historical tidbit here. Um. That the uh, Listerine made that up. You know how people say that? People say always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. That they, they, they made that up. The co- that commercial was the first time that was heard. Oh really? Yeah. So interesting. In the '30s, it was like a '30s commercial. Cool. So that was the first game I invented, Noah. All right. You want to give us another intro for the next game? Um. I uh, this this next game won't take as much time, but. I've got another game. And then we could play another, you know, classic. Paige Campbell Show classic. I'm so happy I got four. four. Yeah. So, obviously, I'm going to say Nick won that. Nick Fair got enough. four. You got zero. Fair enough. But it was a good time. I, guess I had a good time won. playing it. A good time was had by all. <laughs> but, yeah, you were incredible, Nick. You were just Radio Shack, man. I don't know. Thanks. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. You got some... All right. Ripley's Believe It or Not is a, um, you know, book, right? And they have a series of odd uh, facts that are true, but really are kind of unbelievable, right? Um, this game is called Pages, Believe It or Not. I, it's basically a variation on two truths two and a truths, lie. Yeah. I have three facts that are kind of unbelievable. Um, and you have to guess which one is not a true fact. Okay, right, so it's, it's different because it's not about me. These are facts, right? Um, one of them is not a fact, but um, it's, not true. it's a variation. I'm not going to tell you which one. You have to guess which one's not true. Pages, believe it or not. Sleeping next to someone you love not only reduces depression, but it helps you live longer and makes you fall asleep faster. The average narwhal weighs 5,000 pounds. And if you had one billion dollars and spent a thousand dollars a day, it would take you two thousand seven hundred forty-nine years to spend it all. Oh, it's just, that's just complicated, right? <laughs> what was the What was the first fact? Sleeping next to someone you love not only reduces depression, but it helps you live longer and makes you fall asleep faster. Okay. I'm going to go with the second one about second. narwhals. All right. Noah wins. Yes. The average narwhal does not weigh 5,000 pounds. It weighs 1,500 to 3,500 pounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, duh. <laughs> it's a good guess. I like narwhals. You like narwhals? Yeah, it's, good. it's a good animal. Um, I, did, I didn't prepare any more for that game, but we can play that That's, somewhere down the road. That was a lot of fun. I won. You like so. that one? So here's the thing, Perfect. though. Nick and Noah are now tied. They both won a game. So... You want to do a third game for a tiebreaker? Let's do it. Let's do All right. Um, we shouldn't I don't have any new games prepared, so we, we can play a classic. The, the camera. Oh, okay. The camera game. You want to play like Pictionary or something? We could do uh, charades. Well, I, I don't want to do move the camera around, so. Right. But charades is fine. I mean, I just don't want to move the camera around too much because it's, you know, it's, uh, or, or, it's there. It's a big camera. It's on a tripod. It's not, no, yeah, it's that. big on a tripod, HD, 1080p. Um, it's expensive, Expensive equipment. <laughs> um, yeah, we can do like a Pictionary or something. Okay, that would be good. How okay. are we going to do that? Do you guys have any, any paper? I'll tell you what, the paper that I had my notes on. We can take a break or get set up. Paper that I have my Maybe notes not. on. Okay, this works. This is the tiebreaker between you two, okay? Um, I hope this works. Is that a good pencil, Nick? It's broken. Okay. Oh. Um, so it's a tiebreaker, right? I'm gonna, Nick's gonna draw something and I'm gonna try to guess what it is. And then I, and then I'm gonna try to guess what yours is, Noah. 
and um, we'll see who wins first. Like, like whoever I guess first is the winner. Sounds good. Right, Wait, as mean? we're drawing, or so it depends on or just timing, I guess. Well, that's you know, Pictionary is like I try to guess. Um, yeah, we'll time how long it takes me. Okay. Okay, and this would be good with like a whiteboard or something. Yeah, I know. I, I it's not okay. That's fine. All um, right, nice, you, you can hold nice it. strategy. Get yourself a pen, but not me. You can. Well, well no, 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 no. I'm gonna. Nick's no, gonna go. Then you're gonna go. At the same time. No, All right. Yeah. Well, now I'm embarrassed. I feel stupid. <laughs> Noah, it's un- unacceptable. All right. All right. So I'll put a timer on. Stopwatch. Now, Nick can start, or whoever has. You have an idea to draw something. Who who has an idea of what to draw? Nick? I do. You do? Okay. So I'll start. As soon as you start drawing, I'll hit start. All right. And I'm going to try to guess what you're drawing. Okay. This is a tiebreaker. There's a hat. Okay. Farmer. Is it a, um, hmm, a scarecrow? Hmm. A snowman? All snowman. right. So, 20 seconds and 75 fractions of a second. All right. Here's Nick's picture so you can see it. Um, and we'll see about Noah. Here, wait, Noah. So, 20.75. Okay. Now. All right. All right. As Ready? soon as you start drawing, I'll press it. Okay. Um, Apple. Yes. <laughs> All right, Noah. I got Noah's in four seconds. Awesome. So Noah wins. Oh, yeah. Noah's the champ. Isn't it, like, Here, hold Noah's picture up. Oh, you're, are you supposed to stump the person? Nick, Nick can this hold the a, picture. Uh, Nick holds the picture up. All right, you, you want me to guess as fast as I can. Oh, is that the... I thought that's you're... Pictionary. Wait, is that... Is it? Yeah, Nick might be onto something. Because I thought, like, you're supposed to... Stump you want you want to stump me? No, that's not Pictionary. Well, you then I to, win. You want me to guess as fast as I can, right? Okay. That's Pictionary. All right. Well, that's the way we're playing Pictionary on the Paige Campbell show. That's the Paige Campbell version. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was good. Um, can you get into my topic, Noah? We can. All right. We certainly can. Do you think I need intro or not? We're at 48, 40... Maybe it's yeah, 48 minutes. Yeah. I don't need an intro, but let if, me, you, let me if you think I could use one, we'll go for an intro. That was a good game. I'm glad we can incorporate that now with the video footage. Pretty soon we'll be able to incorporate 3D, um, 3D CGI graphics. If and you have a 3D TV, well, well 4D eventually. Actually. You know, if I fart, you'll be able <laughs> yeah. to smell it. So nice. Can do a green screen one time. Maybe. I need to. I need to learn how to do that. But yeah, be if fun. I learned how be to do it, we could do it for sure. Family. That'd be yeah. cool. I like green screens. Just don't wear green on that day. Don't wear green. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Got a, got some music for us now? All right, I'm taking the last throat drop before I get into this. Go for it. It's a good topic. I'm going to need a throat drop. It's actually not the last one. There's two in here. I thought I thought it was the last one. Luden's throat drops. Two in the last Luden's throat drops. Be sure to, you know, get those. It says... Uh, Three for a dollar. It's our sponsor. Three packs for a dollar. I wish... Dude, we need to get a sponsor. That'd be cool. I need to look into that. You know? Okay. Nice. If you had one million dollars, what would you do? It's an age-old question, you Mm. know? But what would you do? I'm I'm interested. What would you guys do? That's tough. I can start, since I've had time to think about it. Um, Honestly, I think I would just... You know, like, buy a nice, pretty nice house. Not really, you know, lavish or anything. Not really a huge mansion or anything. But nice, you know, nice house. And I think I would just live in it, right? And just kind of become a recluse. See you guys. I would, I would continue to do the Paige Campbell show. I would do that 24-7. I'd record one. We'd have a higher budget for the Paige Campbell show. Yeah, we could have a higher budget. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd buy nice equipment. You know, I'd buy a lot. You know, probably have a studio where we just record. Mm-hmm. And then basically... Um, I would just, you know, like live in my house whenever I buy comics every Wednesday, whenever a game comes out that I want, I'll just go, you know, go buy it, you know, never have to worry about money, but never really. Yeah. So is this, is this a million extra dollars then? I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, you know, never have to worry about money. Just, you know, comics come out every Wednesday. I buy, you know, the ones I want. Every time a new game comes out, I play it. Yeah, I'm kind of... I, 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 I kind of I wouldn't like go into anything extravagant. Yeah, see that's my thing. I don't want to lavishly spend. I just want to. I'd invest it probably save. Yeah, see that's smart to invest part of it. Um, might even give some to the poor. Okay. Charity. I don't know. We'll see. (laughs) Um, I don't know. Probably yeah. Not. I wouldn't buy like a mansion, but like a pretty nice house. Yeah, like you know, you can set yourself up. Probably buy a hot tub. Yeah. See, that's the thing too. Like every time I really kind of wanted something, I'd just get it. Like I want a pool. Yeah. Let's dig a pool. And then just do it. Save everything else for just like when I need it, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Just have it as a cushion. Probably buy some guitars or something. Yeah. See, you're into music. Buy some guitars. That's what I would do. Whatever. Nick, you got in a. um, We're kind of boring with our (laughs) money. I'd get a car, a used car. Okay. Um, (laughs) Used car. Yeah. And then I'd get a pretty decent house. Probably buy music equipment. Yeah. um, Donate to the uh, needy. Mm hmm. So you guys would donate. I'm keeping it. Why up. not? I mean, you got a million dollars. That's true. A million. A million doesn't go as far as it used to, though. I'm That's a saying. good point. That is a good point. <laughs> I'd like to invest in the stock market with the rest. Make um, yeah, see, your dad's a big uh, stock market guy. Actually, I don't know if I'd do that. So he, I don't, I don't but he could give you some input. I don't really know I, what I'm doing. I you know? have no idea about that. But I might... I might buy like an underground house Mm -hmm. like the like the entrance to it is just like it's like a porta potty and you're just like this is this this is where you live and I'm just like yes and you go down like this long stairwell (laughs) and it's just my party mansion well see the thing about it is yeah party mansion the thing about it is like if I'm ever rich I don't want to act like a rich person at all you know what I mean like and I, and I love yeah. the, like, you know, there's archetypes of what a rich person should be, you know? And I love that because I would, I would go to like fancy stores and sweatpants and like a, <laughs> and, a and like a hoodie and people would like not want to serve me at all because they don't know I have money. Right. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm probably the richest one in that store. That's true. And it's just yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, I think it would be cool to like, don't act rich at all. You know, walk around town in sweatpants and a sweatshirt, you know? And people are like, ah. He doesn't have money. Yeah. You know, but just well. buy your clothes at Goodwill still, no, I mean, yeah, even though you have still, a million dollars. Yeah, it's like, why not? You know, I like Goodwill. Um, anything lavish that you would do? Hmm. I mean, besides my party mansion. Yeah. Party mansion is uh, always good. I would probably eat good as much as I can. See, I mean, I love good food. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for me, like, the most lavish thing I would do is, like I said, I would always buy new comics and new games. The most lavish thing I would do is, like, you know, go to probably auctions or, like, go on eBay and, like, yeah. buy valuable comics. You know what I, I mean? Want, I, would, like, I would, I would, um... Most, like, 10000 you know? Like, I would get, like, I would probably get a little Samson, you know? I don't know how I, I don't team. know how expensive they are. They actually might cost close to, to a million, but I would buy a mech suit oh, and, yeah. um just blow up stuff in my backyard <laughs> nice nice see i'd get like an amazing fantasy 15 yeah first, first spider-man you know i'd just track down key issues and maybe cool yeah buy them you know try to get a little bit of money knocked off but, yeah you know just buy some comics i'd set up an in-home studio mm-hmm. yeah nice nice like, nice like, like yeah, a soundproof room and like a bunch of soundboards and stuff. yeah well see that's the thing too like i'd, I'd like a studio for like the page gamble show and stuff and there's a lot of like shows i want to make you know, yeah. like, and, but I don't have any money. So I think it'd be cool to just like have a budget yeah. and like make the, sh- make the content that That'd you be fun. make, you know, and it's one of these things, the page Campbell show, you have money, you can arrange things. I'd probably try to get some celebrities on it a little bit, you know, I don't care about huge celebrities, but yeah. celebrities that I'm cool interested people. in, you know, like people that I care about, like yeah. comedians and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. You know, Nick, you said you'd buy a used car, right? Right. I, this is kind of another topic, but if you could have any car, like, I'm not talking, like, any car as in a Mustang. If you could have any car, like, from fiction or anything, what car would you want? Hmm. Huh. Mm. I'd like a, like, a 1960s Volkswagen van. Oh, yeah? That's I'd good. Like, do a cool custom paint job on it. You know what would be a cool paint job to get on that? The Mystery Machine. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. You should yeah. just get a Mystery Machine. I'd probably buy, like, um, the Mach 5. Mm, the Mach 5 is a classic. Or Optimus Prime. Oh, man, that's a good one. <laughs> I'd probably get a Batmobile of sorts. Yeah, the classic um, 
The Adam West would be a cool one to have. Yeah. I like the ones from like the Tim Burton movies. I like no, the... I'm, I'm not getting a Tumblr. Yeah, that's not no, happening. No, no. Tumblr's not my Batmobile. But yeah, the classic Batmobile would be No, sweet. I'm not a Tumblr fan. You like the Tumblr? I no. I don't even have a Tumblr account. Why would Batman... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Why would Batman name his car after a social media? He wouldn't. I don't think hey, what's so. This about? It's the Dark Knight Batmobile. Oh, yeah. They're like the tank big or whatever. Tank. What's it called? It's like Tumblr? the Tumblr. The Tumblr. Because it tumbles. Like <laughs> That's what it's called. But it's the like Bat dumb. Cycle like, or Batwing well, would be well, cool too. Th- my thing is like, you know, Batman has this nice, awesome, like sleek car. Yeah. And then Christopher Nolan comes in and is like, nope, he's got a yeah. tank. It's like, no, Batman's, you know, trying to stick to the shadows, trying yeah. to kind of be inconspicuous. Right. That's pretty showy. Yeah. And then there's like, I think there's camouflage ones or something. Yeah. The camouflage Tumblr. What Get out. <laughs> Get out of here. Not even. Not a chance. Oh, man. I could go into a spiel about how I hate. Yeah. The, uh, mo- the, uh, movies in general. The We could save that topic for That's another true. episode if you want. I wanted to, like, I have so many things that make me angry. I wanted to do a podcast called Paige's Pet Peeves. And it's just like every week it's just something that, like, me screaming about something. You know, something that I hate. Um... But yeah, anything like like super lavish that you would do, like I mean, I don't think I would, but like I'm trying to think, I would go like skydiving, you know. Yeah, like activities. Well, see, generally. that's the thing. I think it would be cool to like just pick up and go do stuff. Like you know, like I've never really, I went to like Disneyland, but I've never been to Disney World. I would just go to Disney World. Yeah. You know, you know, activities. You know, do something. Any activities? I'd, yeah, I'd definitely travel. I, I'd go I want to just kind of travel. I probably wouldn't spend too much. I'd rather like. Well, yeah, places. I think it'd be, you know, travel, stay in crappy hotels. You be, know? Yeah, it'd be cool, man. So it's one of those things, like, I, 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 again, I don't want to act rich if I'm ever rich. You yeah. Know what I mean, stay in a crappy hotel. It's just like, oh, he's such a loser. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You can think that. It's like fine. Tra- yeah. Do a lot of traveling go around the world. Yeah. yeah. Where would you go? I'd probably go to Europe first. Mm-hmm. I'd Europe's cool. Parts of, parts of Asia and maybe um, Central America. I'd go yeah. to, uh, I don't know. Maybe not so much there, but... No, that's cool. Uh, I'd go to Iceland. Iceland? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isn't Iceland, be... like, really green, though? Like, really Yeah, lush? it's supposed to be beautiful. Yeah. I think it still gets cold, though, because it's really far it? north. Well, I, I think it's, like, one of these things. Iceland's really lush and, like, green, and then um, Greenland is icy. Icy, yeah. I think. I'm Something. not positive. But I would definitely... I would go to Iceland. Probably New Zealand, maybe. Mm, maybe New Australia. New Zealand's supposed to be beautiful. I want to go to Japan. <clears throat> I think, um, yeah, I'd I've go, to Japan. I really Tokyo, go to Japan. Tokyo, yeah, Tokyo, Osaka. Cool technology. Cool. Yeah, cool but, um, technology, great food. Australia would be cool, but I think they have like all of the worst types of uh, like spiders and stuff there. Mm-hmm. And I think oh, they yeah. have the world's largest bat, which is like oh wow, as tall as like oh, a do- it's, a it's like as big as a dog or a fox. Oh, 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 holy crap! Yeah, I mean it'd be sweet to see, but yeah, look it up. The world's largest bat. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, bats don't bother I me. I really, I don't like spiders. See, yeah. it's one of those things like seeing a spider doesn't bother me, but I don't want to get anywhere near it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Some people freak out when they just like see them. I, you yeah. know, I can look at them. Yeah. Spiders are cool, but you know, I don't but, like, yeah, I don't want to get anywhere I don't want those near in it. my bed. Stay would out of my bed. Would you let a spider bite you if you knew you were going to get Spider-Man's powers? Yes. I would too. Without mm-hmm. a doubt. Um, and the, the spider that bit Spider-Man was big. It was, it was it pretty was big. Yeah. So... I, and I'm not talking about. I don't know. If, I don't I'm know. About Sam Raimi, but here. you know, it'd be I'm cool. Not talking about movies. I would definitely. Um. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like Spider-Man's powers because with great power comes great responsibility. Mm. That is true, That's Nick. True. Very well. Well I don't said. Know, I, I'd like Spider-Man's powers. I honestly, I was thinking, like, I would do anything to get powers. Like, yeah. you know, always something happens to people f- so they get the powers. I would honestly do anything to get powers. Almost anything. Any, I'd do anything. <laughs> There's not. There's not a thing I wouldn't do to get powers. Go. We've got the world's largest bat on. Oh, did you look it up? All right. Uh, do you? It's like it's got it's something golden. See, I mean, flying the thing fox about, like, that or picture something. Is, I need a comparison. Like, what's that in comparison to? You know? uh, there's one where a guy's like holding it up by its That's wings or something. Dude. A dog. They call it a flying fox. A flying fox. Star fox. <laughs> Here we go. Here it's we go. a star fox, <laughs> basically. Holy crap, dude! That's no, ridiculous. no, no, no. I've seen a bigger one. That you've seen bigger? That's big. I saw a picture of a bigger one. You guys one. need to look this up. This thing's look, huge. Just look up Flying Fox. <laughs> flying Fox. You're going to get Star Fox. You might, you might get Star Fox. Landmaster! <laughs> but, you know. You're going to get the R-Wing. It's classic stuff. You know. Press ZR press, press ER twice. Let's get that, new, let's get that new Star Fox soon, oh, nice. please. Oh my but yeah, goodness. Star Fox on Wii U. What do you think? It's coming out. What do you think? I don't have... 
If I had a million dollars, I'd Jeez, just buy the wheeze. You'd what? Every, every game that comes out. Wow, yeah. No, see, that's the thing. I would just buy, you know, comics every Wednesday. Sure, just a camera. <laughs> it's hard to, always, maybe hard to see, but... If you can see it, it's a lot bigger on my phone. <clears throat> And even bigger just look it up. It's probably bigger and real. You know, if if you've gotten to the hour point on the Paige Campbell show, just look it up. You know, you've got you've got time. You've got plenty of time in your life. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the Paige Campbell show Let's episode eight. Um, well, hold on, hold on. I'm not done with my outro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Paige Campbell show episode eight. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter. Keep the conversation going. I'm at Uncle Page. At Noah, Noah at Aiden 42. At Noah Aiden 42. And Nick does not have a Twitter, so A-I-D-A-M. do not follow him. Um, you can follow another Nick Pichino. I'm sure there's... There might be. No, one of a kind. He's one of a kind. Nick Pichino. Pitch. Pitch. Uh, Pacino. Al Pacino. Pichini. It says Al Pacino. He might. I'm going to follow him he if might. he does. I'm going to follow him if he does. Here we go. Thank you for listening. Be sure to share with your friends. That's how the word gets out. Noah, write us out.